Hi, I'm Julie from Cultures for Health. Today I want to talk with you about how to make milk kefir at home. Now milk kefir is a probiotic rich, delicious beverage and it's easy to make. Now if you've ordered your kefir grains from us, they've arrived in a dehydrated state. So today I want to talk with you about how to activate those kefir grains and get them woken up and ready to make kefir for your family. You can do this. Let's get started. Kefir grains are living organisms and they require food in the form of milk. During this activation process where we're waking them up, you're going to be feeding them increasing amounts of milk, going from one cup to four cups over a three to seven day period. And we'll watch them carefully during this process so that they don't starve. Now each packet contains enough kefir grains to make four cups of kefir per batch. Kefir grains are very powerful. You don't need a lot for this process. Add the kefir grains to a glass jar and add one cup of pasteurized whole milk. If you wish to make kefir using alternative milks in the future, you can, but let's get these kefir grains activated and working reliably for you first. So right now stick with a cup of pasteurized whole milk. Now we wanna cover the jar and keep any fruit flies and ants out. We can do that using either a paper coffee filter or a tight weave dish towel. Just so kind of put that on the top. You want to secure this with either a tight rubber band or you can use the metal ring off your canning jars. Now find a nice warm spot where this can sit safely and we'll come back and check on it later. Now this jar has been culturing for 24 hours. I started checking it at eight hours and I've been checking it every few hours since. When we check on the kefir grains, we're looking for any slight change in the texture of the milk. And while we're there, might as well give it a little shake to agitate the grains and help them along. So in this case, this jar has been culturing for 24 hours and I'm not seeing any change in the texture of the milk. This is perfectly normal at this stage in the process. We're just gonna go ahead and feed the kefir grains. Let's go ahead and pull that top off. Grab a clean jar. I'm gonna strain the kefir grains into another jar. I like to use a plastic or nylon mesh strainer, something that's fairly tight weave. Pour the kefir grains through. And there they are. Now, I'm gonna grab a clean jar and add the kefir grains. And then since there wasn't any texture change in this milk, I'm going to use the same amount of milk I did last time. One cup of whole pasteurized milk and get this covered. Now I realize it might seem like we're wasting milk during this process of activating the kefir grains. As long as this milk tastes and smells okay, you can actually drink it or use it in a smoothie or for some other cooking project. Go ahead and set this back in that nice warm spot in your house and we'll come back and check on it later. Now this batch of kefir grains has been activating for five days. I've been checking every few hours, looking for any change in the texture of the milk. Every 24 hours, I've been feeding the kefir grains with a fresh cup of whole pasteurized milk using that same process I just showed you. Now here we are on day five and I am seeing a texture change in the milk. It's starting to thicken. And so now when we feed the kefir grains, I'm gonna add a cup and a half of fresh milk for the next day. Take the lid off just like we did before. Using a spoon to help work the kefir through the strainer. This process may take a few minutes, but be patient and be gentle with those kefir grains. Okay, so now that we have removed our kefir grains, we're gonna grab a clean jar, put the kefir grains in the jar. I'm gonna add one and a half cups of fresh whole milk. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and put it back in that safe warm spot and we'll come back and check on it again later. Now moving forward, you'll wanna keep the same idea. As soon as the milk thickens, move the kefir grains to fresh milk. With each batch, you can increase the amount of milk you use by one half cup until you're culturing four full cups per batch. If the milk doesn't thicken within 24 hours, go ahead and move the kefir grains to fresh milk, but use the same amount of milk you did for the last batch. It's important to move them to fresh milk as soon as you notice the milk thickening. Otherwise, you risk overculturing, which can mean the milk separates into curds and whey, or the kefir has a grainy texture, and the flavor may not be what you hoped for. 
If this happens, it just means the kefir grains are hungry. Move them to fresh milk and your next batch is likely to turn out fine. Now that your kefir grains are activated, you're ready to make milk kefir on a regular basis. Check out our website at culturesforhealth.com for more information on making milk kefir and other cultured foods at home. And remember, you can do this with Cultures for Health.